In this session, we'll see about normalizer transformation. It is an active transformation that transforms one source row into multiple target rows. It receives a row that contains multiple occurring data and returns a row for each instance of the multiple occurring data. So, for example, if you check, uh, see this uh, relational data, here we have a store ID and four quarterly sales data. So here the quarterly sales data is the multiple occur occurring data. So what the normalizer transformation does is it generates a separate output row for each sale occurrence. Uh, let's see how to do it uh, through a mapping. Let's start creating a mapping. So our store data is the source here, okay. And uh, let's take in the normalizer transformation. Finish. So here first let's take the store ID to input. We see here an output group has been automatically generated here. We can create multiple output groups to pass those output groups to different targets or different transformations based on our requirement. So here if you go to normalizer there are two extra columns called level and occurs. So occur column in the normalizer is nothing but it identifies the number of instances of a field or uh, record in source row. In our condition there is four occur of the quarterly sales data so uh, when we give the quarterly sales uh, it will be it occurs four times we need to specify it as four and level column uh, it indicates where a field or record appears in the input hierarchy uh, so suppose if we have a customer and address ID so inside the address uh, the st street name city zip code and all are uh, uh, comes under level 2 in the hierarchy so here uh, we uh, all our records are level 1 so let's create another column called sales by quarter and it occurs four times Yeah, it occurs four times and it is of integer data type yeah. so now if you check your ports uh, we have four columns since we had specified it occurs four times uh, here we can see four so let's take in our quarter map them this is quarter two, this is quarter three, and this is quarter four. And one more thing in the ports, if you check in the output uh, group, you can see one more column called GCID sales. So what is GCID is it's nothing but the generated column ID. It's an output port for each instance of the multiple occurring field. For example, if field occurs four times in the source record, the developer tool returns a value of one, two, three and four in the generated column ID port based on which instance of the multiple occurring uh, data occurs in the row. So uh, let's take the target here. It's a right. Okay. And connect our output columns here. This is the sales and GCID will give what is the quarter here. So just validate and run the mapping so in the data viewer when you run this you will see 
so our data uh, if you check it in the source it was like the store one quarter one two three four so now if you check it in the target so this has been normalized so for more uh, tutorials on Informatica Power Center Express, go to a to z informatica.blogspot.com. Thank you.